It's funny you were mentioned bitter. Uh, your buddy or, you know, your cousin or your brother, I mean, whatever you want to call him, Oli. And I remember a few years ago when we were doing a signing, I said, I'm going to give him a call. You're like, all right, give it a shot. And <laughs> he was not happy about like, I'm not doing anything, you know, screw this. But <laughs> weird, like a guy like that, bitter about the business because everything you hear, he made so much money from the business and he did so well. You know, I guess some guys are just old, bitter codgers, I guess, you know, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he made a couple of fortunes before the horseman thing ever came up. When he was the boss, part owner in Atlanta, and he's working with Barnett. I mean, the guy's got seven kids and a huge home, and uh, he made a ton of money way back before he started making money, you know, with the gig we had. So, you know, I guess it's it's more of a health-related thing. I know that I've always been healthy enough to pretty much do anything I wanted to during, uh, you know, during the day. But as you get older, man, I'm 64 and it, it's getting harder. And when your low back goes out, it stays out, you know, and uh, you need more sleep and all this stuff. It's just like uh, as the time passes by, you realize, you know, you'll never be young again, I guess now. And part of that, I think, is, is Ole. I mean, he was a guy that was very physical in the ring worked out in, you know, weight room and to have that taken from you probably would make you a little bitter, not giving him a excuse to be so grumpy because everywhere I go and do signings and you know this, one of the biggest and most asked questions, what's Ole doing? Is he ever going to do one of these with you guys? The fans want to see him. Yeah, absolutely. Imagine him and the horseman reunion. Oh, Whew. yeah. Well, I guess, you know, it's his choice. You know, but be nice.